the deep web, the rest of the iceberg. You may think you have a good grasp on how the internet works. After years of using Google, or Alta Vista if you have gray hair by now, in which you perfected your searching skills, who's to say you don't? Even without prior knowledge of the deep web, we perceive the World Wide Web as a humongous collection of data. Although that rings true, there is really no adjective to describe the actual size of the Internet. And that's because we don't really know just how huge it is. What exactly is the Deep Web? To be aware of the hidden part of the Internet, there is really no need to make some neo-choice between the blue and red pill. Think of the Internet as an iceberg. The tip is visible on the surface, while the rest of it hides just below the water. The tip is the Internet as we know it. The rest is the deep web. This comparison is not out of proportion, since it's estimated that the latter is hundreds, even thousands times bigger than what we get to see with standard browsers. Why it is hidden from plain sight. The tip of our informational iceberg is mapped out, indexed by search engine bots. These little explorers go on their way and scan websites and their pages so that when we look for something, the respective search engine can provide a list, one that is compiled on complex criteria like relevance and traffic. Domains that are part of the hidden web are not mapped out. There are different reasons for this. Some websites may require a password to see the contents. Others are publicly available for a limited amount of time. How to access the deep web. By this time, you may ask how one would enter such uncharted territory. Since standard search engines do not index this vast amount of information, it will certainly not make its way as a Google search result. You will need a program that is specifically designed for hidden web access, and that program is Tor, or Tor to Web. This software can facilitate entering the deep web, and also provide anonymity by using servers as relays. What you can find. Tor and the hidden web are famous for the illicit activity they ended up harboring. Because navigation is so different from the exposed Internet, and because Tor itself facilitates privacy, it didn't take long until shady characters started using it to their own purposes. The best example for this is the Silk Road, an online marketplace in which people could, at times, buy drugs and guns and pay for these with Bitcoin. However, it's not all about illegal trades and hiring assassins. That's just what drew the attention of the media. On the deep web, you can also find academic papers and newspaper articles that have long been stored into an archive, making them close to impossible to access with a standard search engine. With so much information to browse, it's hard to resist the temptation of entering the hidden web, but if you do so, make sure to do it responsibly and carefully.